Yo. Hi, Paul. Hello. How are you? Wait. What do you mean, wait? What are we waiting for? What's the problem, Paulie? What's the Somebody problem? may join us. What's that? Somebody may join us. Somebody? Yes. Like one of them? Who's, who's going to join us, Paulie? I'm not going to mention any names. Oh, we have a guest. Do we have a guest? No. Uh, you, well, you said we have a guest. Someone's going oh, to join us. Yeah, but you you would know if, if that person was there. I'm not going to go any further into it. Okay. No. What did you do to your background? Is that fake? That color stuff? No. It's as fake as anything. When you come into this the studio this way, there's a wall behind me, there's a wall here, and then there's a yeah. wall there. So I just reversed it. I'm in the basement. I mean, I'm in a basement. Uh, you know, it, it doesn't. I yeah, never but the bricks are all different colors. Yes, this wall <laughs> has bricks. No, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't. You you did that on the computer. It must have been. No, <laughs> Paulie. Somebody right. was. No, someone was in here before me, and that person decorated his little area here with one wall like this. One wall over here, which is the white brick, and then one wall over here is um, it's like a fake uh, library. That's great, and they left it for you. Yes, yes, Paul. They left it for me. Where, what you you left? Where, where did you go? I'm cold. That's why. <laughs> why do you, you know? I don't wear my Peter and Paul anymore because nobody, uh, you know, I'm I was the last to carry the um, the torch. Nobody does it, so I'm I'm wearing my mitten up wait, today. Wait, what do you mean nobody does it? I will. I will always wear my Peter and Paul um, hoodie. So I think you wore it once. Rick wore it once. And well, then, then I gave it away, and I haven't ordered another one. I should. I, I need to order another one. Well, then do it. What do well, you? Well, you know, but I, it's like when the roof is is leaking. You don't think about it when it isn't raining. Wait, but right now you're thinking about it, right? Right, but I'm not going to go online and order one right now because I'm what? talking with you. <laughs> I'll wait. You know, Paulie, I today today turn didn't start out very well. I couldn't get up to go, out to, go to um, the gym. It was too tired. It's all right. Tired. It's okay. Well, it's, it's Friday. It's, I'm going to do something because I don't like what's going on here. Um, no, it really isn't okay. Uh, I got up. I, could, I just couldn't get up. I was too tired. So uh, That's uh, part of the normal. It's like Hakuna Matata. <laughs> it's like what? Akuna Matata. Akuna Matata. Isn't what are you, that the circle of lights or something? Akuna Matata. Well, I have no the, There's something from the Lion King, that, King that's about, you know, the normal, you know, life cycle of, of everything, you know, where, you know, you, you get raised and your mother takes care of you and then you go out and you get killed by a lion and then the whole process starts again. <laughs> I wonder yeah. why you go to therapy for the last 70 years. You're insane. <laughs> what is wrong I, I with you? I'm making perfect sense. I, think. I, I, I was tired. And my body hurt. I couldn't get out of bed. And now I'm, uh, you're like Kunta Kinte. And you, you, I don't know. Kunta Kinte. That, that was the first there thing. You go. What's that? Well, that was the first thing. And then when I did get up, we, 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 we didn't have any bread. We only had a couple of slices of bread. So Ethan, who's going to school remotely, he's 10, he needs a little bit of nourishment. He got the, the toast. Fortunately, he doesn't eat the crust. So I have the crust of the bread today. Oh, is that Dave's bread? No. <laughs> we ran out of Dave's bread. We, we buy and freeze. This is a Pepperidge, Pepperidge Farm, which is okay, but not as good as Dave's. Mm -hmm. okay. So my latest thing I'm sort of into for the next 10 minutes <laughs> what is, is sea shanties. What? Sea shanties. Sea shanty. Sea shanties. It's a plural. Is that like a she shed? 
What is a she, a she shanty? It's, it's a little hard to say, isn't it? Sea shanty. I, well, I have practice because I've been saying she shed because there's that commercial about the she shed. So oh, she said what a commercial about a she said. A she. Oh no! Now, now I, I you, you got me so confused I can't. A she shed. Well, a shed. <laughs> You know, like a shed you have in your backyard. This is a she shed, a woman's shed, a she shed. Really? So is is that a thing now? No, I don't. It's not a thing. It was a commercial. I don't know what it was for, to be honest with you. But it, it referenced the a she shed. She shed. Oh, that's she shed. I wonder what would be in a she shed. You know, I mean, well, what? We're gonna have to look that up. <laughs> Your homework, your assignment, should you decide to accept it, uh, Mr. Phelps? Is but point the point is, point is, I was driving the car with my grandson yesterday, okay. and um, he's 15. And um, I said, "Okay, you play a song you like, and then I'll play a song I like." You know, on the oh, on the radio, we drive. Yeah. So he played a sea shanty. Um, what is it's it? like, hey, hold up, she rises, hey, hold up, she rises, hey, ho, and up she rises early in the morning. Well, wait a minute. Throw him in the scuppers with a stove pipe on him, throw him in the scuppers with a stove. I mean, it wasn't that sea shanty. Well, it was another minute. sea shanty. Is there a sea shanty station up where you live there well not where i live on alexa there's a sea shanty station you're kidding me uh, so no. i can go to yes. alexa right now and say alexa play sea shanties and it will play sea shanty you have right. alexa in your car no i don't he had it on his he had stuff on his he actually had it he didn't have it tuned to a show it, it's it's actually um a song, the, the the couple of songs he played me, I think, well, one or both of them, maybe only one of them, um, is used in Assassin's Creed Five or mm. Assassin's Creed Two. Oh, There's, okay. Yeah, Actually, yeah. So Ethan plays Assassin Assassin Creed, I th think two. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go check it. So that's how he got interested in in C. Well, you know, he wasn't interested in sea shanties as a whole, my grandson. I mean, he was, but he, um, uh, can I play one for you or not? Yes, of course. I, I have, yes, please, please do. All right. Alexa, have, okay, go ahead. Play sea shanties. It's a playlist. <laughs> okay, wait. Oh, it's catchy. It's a catchy tune. Right. I'm, I'm into see Sandy's show now. See, they're doing? pulling up the rope. They're pulling up the sails. Now, wait here. Huh. Huh. No, that's my part, Paul. Huh. Well, that's, that's so, now, this S. E. Van Gogh. This is very educational. I love this. It's yeah. great, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know, there's probably some um, rights issue with playing music over a, a live stream. But um, right. well, I can turn her off now. Yes. But it's know. about to come where the whale is going to come and they're going to throw the harpoon into it and the whale it, they, they won't be able to get the harpoon off the whale and the whale is going to drag the ship for two days this is fascinating yes it is. I think so. let me turn it off turn it off i'm going to take care of my nose while you do that you know it seems that you and i take care of our nose a lot I don't. I don't think I've ever watched anyone who's blown their nose as much as you and I seem to do. I have a regular sniffle that, sniffle. you know, is just always there now. I, I don't know why. You know. I mean, I, yeah. I'm getting butter. Excuse me. I don't normally take butter on my toast, but Ethan on the crust has a little bit of butter and jelly, so my hands get a little sticky. Fascinating.
<laughs> Listen, I have been so disturbed. I think I spoke to you on Wednesday. Okay. When you when you had this big reveal that you wear a nightgown, I have not been able to get the image. It's not, not a nightgown. It's a dressing gown. It's a. Well, I want. I you just, want to see the dressing gown? No, I want to show you this. This is the image I had. Something like this. Of this is, I think, Ebenezer Cro Scrooge right. with a nightgown and a nightcap, wandering around. You know, crazed because of the ghost of the past. Is I, I was worried for Mrs. B. Oh, I just want one of the reasons I didn't sleep last night. Um, okay. Is that what it looks like? Okay. Well, it's like, you know, go ahead, Peter. I'm just semi coherent, but um, that is a nightgown. So that you wear that in your bed. The That's dressing you gown you don't wear in your bed. So the dressing gown you wear out of bed over yeah. your nightgown. Well, no, over your pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> so you wear pajamas to bed and then you get up and you put a dressing gown on. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> is it like a smoking jacket? And you're like, is it that kind no, of? No, I used to have a smoking jacket though. And, and down course. in Jersey. I'm, I'm a man here, of the Up here, you, it's too cold for a smoking jacket. You need, um, you know, you need a parka up here. Look, here's the difference between the Merlot drinking, nightgown wearing crowd and a man of the people. I wear a bathrobe, a ter if I wear anything, a terry cloth bathrobe you put on. I don't wear a nightgown and a dressing gown and a smoking jacket. I don't <laughs> wear a nightgown. I, do you wear pajamas? No. Um, uh, oh, actually, I have something I wear. For, what? Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, I, I do wear something. Yeah. And then when you get up, you put on something over it, right? Oh, uh, terry no. cloth, right? No, uh, no. Yeah, no. so something terry cloth you put no, over it. No, no, I, I don't. In the summer, I have these, um, they're shorts, and it's a, they're a Star Wars, and a Star Wars t-shirt and shorts that I wear. It's really quite comfortable and very- As nice. pajamas, as pajamas, Yes, right? I wear okay. Now, right, in right the now. winter, Zaina was nice enough to get me for Christmas some plaid pants and like um, a thermal shirt on top, so I wear that. But no okay, dressing but gown not, and um, oh, a what? What no, did you say again? No dressing gown and no smoking jacket goes over. Not in bed. I wear. Right. What, what about when you get up? What do you What do you wear then? I get up and I wear whatever I've slept in till I get dressed. Oh, okay. So you don't. It must be sort of warm where you are in the house. I mean. I I don't know, not necessarily. It's kind of cold today. It's twenty eight degrees here, so it's cold. Well, my I, my point I'm saying is you don't need to put on anything other than your pajamas when you get up. You just walk around the house and okay. do whatever you do. But if you grew uh, up in right. the kind of environment where you put on a, a dressing gown uh, and a smoking jacket, you would probably do that in the morning. I I didn't. So yeah, I don't. class hatred. You're trying to generate class hatred. I'm not trying to generate any hatred. Yes, the fact are. is you wear a dressing gown and I don't. It's just what it is. Oh, yes, but that makes you a man of the people. I, I suppose <laughs> men, men of the people don't act. But you meant, you made a mention of terry cloth. You said something about terry cloth. I said. And now oh, you're covering up the terry cloth part of the story. No, no. I was making a distinction. Right. Are you listening? I, was I am, yes. Okay, good. I was making a distinction between your dressing gown or whatever it is you put on over your pajamas and the yes. fact that if I was going to put anything on at all, it would be called a bathrobe, likely made out of terry cloth and put on when I got out of the bath. Difference yeah, between no, that that's, that's, and a dressing yeah, gown and a smoking jacket. No, yeah, I know. You know, the smoking jacket is was you know like a, an old sport coat that I used to wear when I was sitting down at the end of the day. So that's that's totally a separate. Wait a minute! Thing. Wait a minute! Hold on. So at the end of the day, you came home and put on the smoking sport jacket. See, well, it was a sport jacket. Yeah, I like to have. See, I like to have something that opens. See, like this. This like a fly? Like a what? A fly. Your fly opens. Your fly. <laughs> yeah, I like to have a fly too. 
Um, but uh, um, yeah, okay. Yeah, I like to have things that open if you want to put it that way. <laughs> oh, things that open. It could be a song or a book or something. Paulie, I got a nice new t-shirt for Mrs. B. It's very simple. It's a V-neck and it says feeling cute. What do you think about that for Mrs. B? I think you sent a picture of it, right? Uh, did I? Did. She said, oh. hey, I, this would be great for Mrs. B. It happened to be that Mrs. B was there at the time. Oh, you know, I think we were in the car or something. And um, I said, oh, Sarusi, you know, thinks she might like a, a, a T-shirt or whatever like that. And you should have seen the look on her face. It was like, <laughs> I tell him I'd never be caught dead. Oh, no. She, she like said that. dead? Like that. I don't know if she said that. But she said, tell him that that, you know, there's no way that would happen or something like that. So that's your <sighs> feeling cute. Yeah. Let, let, yeah. Hold on. Yeah. What are you seeing now? I, I, I'm, I'm blind, but um, I'm one of – Hold on a minute. Are you still with me, Paulie? I'm here. Okay. I want you to stay. Hey ho, and up she rises. Hey ho, and up she rises. Hey ho, and up she rises early in the morning. Put him in the scuppers with the stovepipe on him. Put him in the scuppers with the stovepipe on him. Put him in the scuppers with the stovepipe on him early in the morning. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor early in the morning? <clears throat> Put him in bed with the captain's daughter. Put him in a bed with the captain's okay. daughter. Put him was, in bed. Thank you for entertaining us. That was absolutely incredible. What I wanted to do, because I think it's unfair, now that you have um, branded my Feeling Cute t-shirt as a, a, a piece of what a garbage or something I would never wear. I didn't say that. You just really? said Mrs. B wouldn't wear it. That's what I oh, said. Oh. That's what you asked. Oh, oh OK. All right. Go ahead. Now that we've clarified once again another Sarusi exaggeration, but anyway, go ahead. I just thought that we should look at this beautiful T-shirt. Oh God! Is that not beautiful? Perfect. Well, I can't room. really see it. I can't really see it. It's not. You can't too... see it. Well, maybe I I should make well, my hold on. bigger. Hold on, Paul. Um, With the power of technology, it. we're going to help you. Feeling cute. I mean, that's that. That's a nice T-shirt. I think it's a little self. You know. What, a wait a minute. Bit. Wait a minute. Did you say that was a nice T-shirt? Is that yes. what I said? Yes. Yes. I mean, I think it's a little self promotion promotional. Self promotional. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm feeling right, cute. Well, and I am cute. That's the T-shirt. I just didn't want to. I want to tell everybody how cute I am. I mean, I don't. Paul, I don't think it would be good for you. It's really a woman's and a younger woman's T-shirt. I understand that. I was channeling the younger woman who was wearing it. I see. <laughs> so I'm cute. Hi, are you cute? I'm I'm definitely cute. You know what I mean? You know what? I, you can, you probably can't hear this, but I hear Ethan going, "Dad, Dad." God. So he he. So God is an is 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 an exclamation he uses when. No, um, dad, uh, who? dad. He came down. Oh, he's dad. on a break. He, dad. So, let's see. Well, he's on a break. So it's he's off to 9.45, I guess, from 9.30 to 9.45. He has a break. He starts at, I don't know, 8.45. So he came down to the Peter and Paul studio, and he's yelling, but I'm not letting him in. <laughs> he's got to stay out. We're doing a show here. Excuse me. I must take care of my nose again. Much better now. All right, so we've covered in this relatively how short. Well, uh, it's not. We've it's been you know it, actually twenty almost, twenty minutes. We did twenty been minutes. Twenty minutes. Yes. Boy, when you're having fun, it just time flies. But we did cover some ground, and what, no what guess, did we cover? Nobody showed up once again. Nobody showed up. Really? Okay. Yeah, too bad. 
So do you have yeah. anything? Okay, before we wrap this up, are you, do you have plans for the weekend? Besides sapping and counting money and that sort of stuff, what what are you gonna do? Sapping? What did you? Well, oh, you, sap, you, you sap tree. What do you call that? The sap thing is over. The the, the over. trees aren't running anymore. But the sap the isn't sap that like, isn't in, in running. What? What is sap? Isn't that like the blood of a tree? Are you? Aren't you bloodletting trees when you take their sap? Yeah, that's what I. I I was shocked, but you know what? They 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 like it. The how trees we, like it. How do, how do we know this? Well, we know they don't suffer. They come back every year and they have leaves and they have buds and they, the leaves, you know, it's like a kuna matata, matata every year. And they're fine. Um, if I kick you in the groin, eventually you're going to get up your ends while it's happening. So isn't that the same with the blood led a tree and taking it south? No, it's not. No, it's well, not. They've been curious. doing this for 250 years. Mm. And the trees are fine. Uh, I, I'm just I, I saying don't. that's the empirical evidence. No. You'd think that this really hurt them, but we've in been, fact, what we've been doing now, maybe terrible it's, things we to people maybe for 250 we years. It doesn't make it right. For them. What's that? What? Saying? We've been doing terrible things to people for 250 years, but that doesn't make it right today because we're still no. doing it for 250 years later. But what I'm trying to say is the trees are not unhealthy. The ones that are being tapped, they're not. You look at them, they're fine. They have leaves. Now, if you can talk to the trees, then maybe you could find out how the experience is. But if you can't, then there's nothing else to go on other than the fact that they're totally fine. Paul, what? you look fine. But if but inside you're you could be an emotional wreck. But okay, we so, only see the outside. So we see the buds and the leaves, but the psyche of you is is destroyed. And that could as be I said, you have a way of uh, okay. you know communicating with the psyche of the tree, then you could bring additional data to the table here. Okay. But so okay. far you're just bringing fulmination. Fulmination. Okay. Fulmination. Fulmination. Paulie, before, before you go on and wreak havoc on flowers or trees or animals, there's just one more thing. <laughs> one more thing, if I may. Yeah. And what 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 might that be, Peter? Say hello to Mrs. B, wherever she may be. I will, Peter. Thank you. And can and we leave? Can we go now or what? <laughs> yes. Class dismissed, Paulie. <laughs> Okay. Adios, Good. amigo. Goodbye. Happy trails. Bye.